Hello, what's up guys? Ton Ton here. Welcome back to my channel. So today, let's have a look at a new figures that I just received, which is the Transformer Legacy Deluxe Class Tarantulas from Transformer Beast War. So let's begin. So here we have Tarantulas in his robot mode. And I must say that this is an excellent robot mode comparing to the firm. I know that a lot of you think that and it clearly shows that he shares a lot of similar traits to Kingdom like Arachnia. And in fact, he shared some traits to her, but like not everything. So the first thing is that we got a much bulkier body. This is a male body, not a female body. And the spider leg, as you can see, is a lot bigger than Black Arachnia. And then I think that is like all the major difference besides from the colors and the design for some exterior parts. So now let's have a closer look. So first up, we got the head, and I must say that I love this head sculpt. It is full of characteristic, a lot of pins, visor eyes, which is yellow, some eyes re to resemble the spider. And we got this paint on the mouth here. This is, I guess this is the spider teeth. I guess this we can call a neon metallic colors, which is really nice. I enjoy the, I, I like the colors. I think it looks great. And moving down to torso, we don't have too much details, but we have a really scaly chest. Me personally, I enjoy this. It makes him look more like a uh, cyborg than an actual robot. And I think it looks great because like for this design, everything is round and curved, not like always like blocky. So I think the texture choice for this is really nice because if you look down in the stomach, we got another texture. This is not like scaly, but this is more like a fiber texture. And then we got the crotch which is also a scaly texture this time with some add-ons to resemble the eye of the spider but this time in a metallic emerald colors and i mean personally i think this choice is like really nice it makes him look more like an organic being instead of a robot and that suits the theme of the beast war i think that is wonderful and because now talking about the torso we got to turn him around but before that if you can see that this section here is quite big and chunky but the good thing is that they make it deep so like actually the shadows cover it a lot so yeah you i mean it still looks fine though and here we got the back and as you see this is still the same scaly and fibery looking texture this time with an add-on splash of gold colors onto the back and obviously this is a spider display decoration but i still like it i like when they painted everything of it every size and if I'm gonna put him on a rotation table, he still looks great from all of the angle. Now moving on to the arms, and as you can see, this is nearly the same design as Black Arachnia. I mean, you still got a shoulders and the uh, bicep section is like hanging all the spider leg onto it. And then we have the claw, the claw arms. But then I note this is a different claw than Black Arachnia. When I first saw this, I thought he would be using the same one, but no, the paint to mouth should be the same, but he got a lot more details onto it, not just like two one and one. This is actually got like knot joint on it. And so, I mean, it looks really great. Unfortunately for the spider leg, Tarantulas got some hollow point over all the eight legs. And this is such a shame because with Black Arachnia, we don't have any hollow points. But I guess he's a bigger figure. But then they they still have to release him as a deluxe class. So I mean, the reduction was, I think, is understandable. Now, finally, to the leg. And I must say, this is where the absolute nice paint of the Go for Cybron trilogy came back. Although it's kind of hard to see. Okay, so the thighs here actually have a Predacon symbol. But I don't understand whose idea it is to put two purple onto another. So, like, you know it's there, but you can barely see it at all. So, I mean, I don't like it too much. Other than that, I think that the black thigh inside is really nice. I love the way the color purples and the blacks goes together here and there. So that, I mean, like, it is a really nicely looking details. And finally, we got the green leg, which is also scaly. And we got the feet, which is a uh, painted piece. This is, I think this is the gold injection color, same as the one in the back. So basically, after looking through this figure, I appreciate what they have done. I thought that this would be a remote re tool and reuse of Black Arachnia, but this is only shared the same ideas on the blueprint. But in fact, this is the whole new figures. So I really enjoy this aspect of him. I think that he deserved this. So I mean, like he's a good one comparing to the nearest last Paragon figures we got, which is Scopernox. I think he holds up much better than Scopernox and everything of him is not much nicer. Now to the accessories, Tarantulas, we got two accessories. First is the crossbow and the second one is the chainsaw. So I'm going to talk about the crossbow first. 
At first glance, you might think this is the exact same one that came with black arachnia, but unpainted, and this is where you are wrong. This is a completely different crossbow. First, the tarantula is bigger than black arachnia, and then the shape of the arrow is different, but then the bottom details is, is completely new here. So you got the difference in the scale and everything, and then again, black tarantula got a plugging hole. So you can plug it and equip with any other accessories you want to. And to attach it, you simply just plug it onto his hand, his claw, I think. And the second is a chainsaw. I don't remember seeing this in b school. It has been a long time. But this is a really nice one. You still got the same matte black plastic, but this time they painted all the saw. They painted the saw and it looks really good. This is more like a metallic purple. So it is really nice. So to equip it, you should do the same thing over here, but you do have the choice of me personally. I would do this. I would rotate the crossbow into some angle and put this equip, fuse them together like this. And I think this look great. I think it is a nice add-on. And one thing that this can be much better held with a single hand transformer. But I mean, we got what we got, so. I still appreciate the effort. Because he share a lot of same thread to Black Arachnia, I expect everything to be the same or like, you know, similar. So let's begin with the head. He can look, he cannot look up, but he can do rotation. But I already you know. Yeah. His arms can move around, move out like that, do rotation. The spare leg early on, they do get bow joints similar to black arachnias. Although this bow joint range is a lot better, and so they can rotation like this. You got also got a arm um, swivel. This is the elbow band, and that should be it. Got a bundle of flying joint over here that is more for the transformation. And you got a waist rotation. This is a kick to the front, kick to the back. And you got a split. You got a thigh swivel. Knee band, double jointed, which is really nice. This is a feet, and you got a pivot. Articulation wise, I think this guy is decent for a deluxe. I mean, it's not too bad. He shares a lot of similar traits to Black Arachnia. I mean, you can, I can still post him into many poses, and he should do the job fine on my shelf. So now, without further ado, let's go to transformation. Finished transforming black tarantulas and here we got a pretty decent spider mode, alternate mode, beast mode. So yeah, we got all the see everything. We got a, s a set of eyes here and we got the same two claw which is the arm at first and we got the gold detailed. I mean like for this beast world characters, we, we mostly seen everything of them in the robot mode. So like in this case here, we the only new thing that I see is the eyes which is another set of emerald metallic emerald colors and if I'm, I'm gonna try to flip it around now to see this is a pretty clean transformation this I cannot see the head which is a great thing and yeah I think it's not half bad at all I mean like this is a great spider mode so there's nothing too much to say you all know that the only move, movable things in this mode would be the spider leg and so yeah I mean I'm gonna throw in the black arachnia for the comparison so here they are and the first thing you can notice is that the Black Arachnia is high, is taller in this mode. This is because of the leg. First, Black Arachnia got a lighter mode. So as a result, the leg is has to support less weight than Tarantulas. 
and then this is because of the spider like black arachnia widow spider species it's like they usually stand tall like this but for the tarantulas this is how they actually stand so like mostly they stay near the ground and thus it's still accurate although i have mentioned this but then the ball joint on black arachnia is a lot tighter than the ball, ball joint on tarantulas thus make it easier to stand up i mean i, I can still stand i can still put tarantulas up in the air like this but it would be hard to position since his legs are quite weak but yeah it's still doable so this is your choice but now it, is, it just looks so weird no so i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna press him down can you store the weapon in this mode yes you can just like plugging it here and the source comes right here so i mean pretty neat weapon storage i really appreciate this about tarantulas like arachnia cannot hold her weapon balance up like this so this is a really well done features so that should be it for my review i mean this is a fantastic figures definitely get this if you are lo looking to complete your new predacon set and yeah hoping to see any new beast world characters coming up and yeah that should be it for today guys turn out